Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's been a while since I did a recording. I've been traveling and um, so here we go. We wanna look at some things that are going on around us and just ask how will we deal with it from a spiritual perspective? Because we know that if our ego is involved, how we can um, respond in not so nice a way. And all of the world is in need of um, empathy. Empathy. Um, empathy is not sympathy. Empathy is something that, or an emotion that we can use to um, take a step back analyze the situation that we may be looking at um, and then approach it. Um, the word that came was drama, no more drama. And I began to think when I heard no more drama, how do you alleviate drama when maybe the other person or people or even community does not know that they are actually generating the energy of drama, you know? And so when you look at that, it means that possibly if we say, I'm not gonna be involved in any more drama, I'm taking myself out, that I really have to investigate or look within myself to see if I have actually um, released myself from that. And one of the things that I recall when I was younger is my ability to stand still and listen to what people you know, said, because I, I don't like conflict. And there are some people that are high conflict people. You know, they just, it stimulates them. And so if you put a non-conflictual person with a high conflict person, then that um, there will be a aggravation going on because that high conflict person needs that drama in their life. And a lot of times they don't know it, so they will blame the other. Now, I'm not going to say that I didn't create any drama because even when you're um, non-conflictual, you will create situations that um, will cause other people to have, you know, funny feelings or not feel so good about what you've done. The thing is resolving the issue within yourself and, you know, not blaming people anymore. That means that you're starting to take um, a look at yourself in the mirror. Face value after you have run from person to person um, and you are always in conflict, there has to be a time when you say it's something going on with me. I remember coming to that conclusion. You know, I do remember even um, after doing self-work, meeting up with people from the past and, you know, we settled in to begin to have um, friendship again and go out and do things together. and. After a while, that the individuals, they begin to see you the same way. And you just kind of like, again, going back to the beginning, take a step back and not engage in what they're saying if you do not feel what they're saying is true. Because if you engage, that means that you become defensive. Why would you become defensive when you already know that you are over that time of your life. You know what I'm saying? So here is where we begin to see if, you know, we're really over it. It's like a test that we come into. We meet up with people that actually triggered us. And so when we say no more drama, we can say it, but is it true? Now I can go on and talk about what the person said and what they did. But that's neither here nor there. The actual understanding is, is if I um, come to a place where I say that there's no more drama in my life, 
then I am going to counteract any tra triggers. That means that it, there's going to be a part of me that has resolved the issue and I don't even take it personal. You understand what I'm saying? And so it's something to think about, you know, because a lot of people have said that they don't want to be in um, relationships or friendships that are dramatic, even in workplaces, but they may not know that they're bringing the drama, you know? So here, Galatians 5 and 15 says, but if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. And that just says that, you know, if you bite from one another, it's like two dogs that's fighting. You know, one is going to keep on until maybe one has been taken out or the owners pull them apart if that happens. You know what I'm saying? And generally in an argument, um, there is a confrontational issue until one person gets tired and says, I'm done. Or even in a fight, people fight to the finish. And this is where we have big problems all over the world because people need to get their point across and then the drama goes further and further. I find this to be, you know, issues even within our court systems, because when I do coaching, you know, you're working with people that have children in um, custody cases or divorces or um, you, you, I mean, you can just name it. If you have an accident, in most cases, sometimes people will be, you know, angry. They don't look at the fact that things happen and marriage is dissolving. People are fighting because one is wrong and one is right and vice versa when actually it's generally communication. It's the way that they approach things. You know what I'm saying? And so when you come to a place where there's no more drama, you release that from yourself and those that you commune with won't be able to trigger you anymore. You know, it, it becomes um, an area of your life that you're just done with. All right. So you guys can give me some feedback because in this time we're dealing with crisis where people are sick, where people are misunderstood, where people, they want attention. Um, and you can get all of that um, by coming into groups. Um, even we have a group you know, and we do uh, coaching as well. Um, people are going through anxiety. Um, people are um, dealing with image challenges. Um, you name it, depression. And all of these things can be alleviated by taking different approaches. The mind, the body, and spirit wholeness. Drama comes from um, ignorance, you know. It's something that we generally don't know. We're not conscious of the actions. Um, and, and then, you know, I teach that in most cases, um, drama is coming from someone that has the ability to actually be in entertainment. And um, if you channel that energy properly or know that you're acting out, then you can change it. You're acting and you're acting out because you need something or you need to learn something about yourself. And so coaching, we do coaching sessions, life coaching, group coaching. Um, we're going to start a vision board class soon. And so you can um, email me about that and um, get the information in because we want to change our minds and our thoughts, begin to look at higher ground. Um, look at how to manifest. And so our manifesting group is working in those areas and sharing some things as well. So you guys be blessed. And remember, no more drama means that you are not going to be an additive to the drama. You're going to learn how to change that part in you. And then others will change because, you know, the word still stands that to let your light shine that men may see. They can't put your light out. All right. God bless you.